The Buffalo Sabres are proud to announce from the Ottawa 67s and the Ontario Hockey League, Jack Quinn. Your captain, sir. So we wait for the reaction on the delay from Jack Quinn. The suspense. And there it is. The deuce is hidden. <laughs> Jack Quinn, late bloomer, you'd have to say. Made a massive jump in the past year. Quinn buried 52 goals in 62 games in the OHL last season. Only Nick Robertson, who of course, went on to play for the Maple Leafs in the bubble postseason, had more goals in the OHL last year. So this guy is a legit goal scorer. More importantly, for Craig Button, he is his first man crush of the night. <laughs> I, I love Jack Quinn, and you know, Bob had talked about Alexander Holtz being like David Pasternak as a comparable. I see David Pasternak as a comparable for Jack Quinn. I think that he's not a one-trick pony when it comes to scoring. He scores in multiple ways, and he scores from multiple spots on the ice, and he also makes big-time plays just like David Pasternak. His coach in Ottawa, Andre Torigny, used him in every single situation. E even strength, power play, penalty killing. Because he's exceptionally smart. And I consider him to be the best goal scorer in this draft. Because he can do it in so many ways. And if you want to be a great goal scorer, you have to get to the right spots at the right times. That's exactly what Jack Quinn does. He's a fascinating prospect. It wasn't that many years ago that he was playing double-A hockey, not triple-A hockey, in the Ottawa area. He's very much a late bloomer, somebody that didn't come into the OHL immediately and light it up on a very good Ottawa 67s team. A couple of years ago, he played more of a depth role on a really strong team. It was this one year that he really blossomed. So a lot of the scouts are looking at him and say, is this the real deal or is it fool's gold? It's not fool's gold. We know that he can score the goals, the 52 that he had over the course of the year, but he's also a late birthday. This is a player who only missed being eligible for last year's draft by four days. And can you imagine if he had been eligible for last year's draft and didn't get to have this 52 goal season, he wouldn't have gone in the first three rounds perhaps last year. So what a difference that one year has made. And the Buffalo Sabres, uh, with a, a new scouting staff in place, Jeremiah Crow heading up as their amateur scout under Kevin Adams, have decided, yeah, he's very much the real deal, and we want him as a complimentary goal-scoring player to guys like Jack Eichel uh, and now Eric Stahl. Liam, I'm going to talk about Bob's comment about fool's gold. Aaron Judge was like a 30th round draft pick coming out of high school to the Oakland <laughs> Athletics. Went to school, college, and then became a first round draft pick to the New York Yankees. Just watch how a player plays, watch how he progresses, and then try to project what he can do going forward. Jack Quinn is exactly what Aaron Judge was. He may have a similar impact in being a great goal scorer at the NHL level. Listen, I have a couple of young boys, and these are some inspiring words from Jack Quinn because he's said I'm being a late bloomer when I was younger the AAA teams cut me mm -hmm. it's probably the last year AAA that I got cut where I just told myself that they didn't think I was good enough but I knew I was and clearly he was because he goes all the way up at eight to the Buffalo Sabres and you look at team building for this Buffalo Sabres squad that is desperately trying to make it to the postseason and they are really hoping that what Craig mentioned there that the comparison to David Pasternak is a real one, Pierre. Yeah, there's no question because of the pure scoring ability. And David Pasternak obviously is one of the better scorers in the National Hockey League. And when you talk about, you know, whether Jack Eichel's there or Eric Stahl is there, the biggest thing with Quinn is he knows how to get to the front of the net. He knows just like Pasternak, he'll battle for pucks in scoring areas. He'll make a difference that way. But I, again, I can't stress enough, this is a player that never got burnt out playing high-level hockey until he got to Major Junior. And he's taking advantage of his opportunity. You see Pasternak present the target, drive hard to the net, go backhand, forehand, and roof it. I mean, that's just a spectacular play. Here's another example of Quinn. You're going to see him driving wide with speed, get to the inside part of the ice, you know, and put it on your back and put it to the back of the net. That's what pure goal scorers do. So, you know, when you think about it for the Ottawa 67s, they, they're probably thinking about, we want to keep this guy, but they may not be able to. And then what happens with Marco Rossi? Yep. So he might be next going to Minnesota. You never know. I'm, I'm telling you, this could be a big hit for the Ottawa 67s back-to-back. -back. Well, 